Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. And I'm coming with you at you today live from my home, December 26, 2017. Very soon we're going to be moving into the new year. And we have just accomplished another full year with a Christmas. Congratulations. I hope your Christmas was awesome. I hope you had a chance to spend time with your family and you're enjoying yourself now um, with all of the blessings and gifts that you may have received. And so today is a return of the 10 days of the 10 Da's. We had, uh, I finished up on Thursday on day eight. So then we had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So four day sabbatical, so to speak. And so for those that are new or just tuning in, we were covering um, uh, last week the greatest gratitude. And then prior to that, Da Chang Sheng, which was the greatest flourishing. All of the eight Da's up until this point have been the greatest love, forgiveness, compassion, and light, the greatest humility, greatest harmony. And then we got into greatest flourishing and greatest gratitude. Today, day nine of the 10 days of 10 Da's, is greatest service, greatest service. And it's called Da Fu Wu. Da Fu Wu is a Mandarin Chinese word. All of the 10 Da's are Mandarin Chinese. And that's because my, my spiritual teacher, spiritual father is Master Zhigong Sha. And if you've never heard of him, then uh, it's about time you did. He is a devoted uh, being of light to serve humanity. Very similarly to the Dalai Lama, and the great uh, other beings that carry a message of love, peace, and harmony. He's written over 20 books, and his whole purpose to come to humanity to serve during this uh, shifting time that humanity is going through from darkness to light is to give us the tools, the techniques, and the things that are necessary to make this shift as simple as possible. And so the 10 Da are the 10 greatest qualities that if brought into our life on a consistent basis, through our thoughts, through our words, and through our actions, can bring significant positive shift into our life. And most of us, I'm sure, can deal with a little more positive shift in the different places in our life. So when you look at the 10 Da's, the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion and light, how could that not bring positivity into your life? And more importantly, what can I do to shift that which is opposite of it? Because a lot of us are lacking in love. We're lacking in compassion. We don't want to forgive. And we don't even understand what is the greatest light. Then there is the greatest humility and the greatest harmony. How do we move ourselves to more humility and more harmony? The answer to all of these, Master Shah shares in all of his books. He shares how to uh, release the pain and suffering that we find ourselves in, especially at this time on earth. Uh, and gives us the, the wisdom, the tools, and the techniques to release those unpleasantnesses that we are having in our life with things like the 10 DAS. So that's what you can look forward to today if you're just tuning in and uh, see if this is something that's for you or not. Um, I highly recommend you stick around. If you cannot, then do like, uh, do um, uh, click on subscribe, and you'll know when I go live in the future. Also, you'll be able to come back <coughs> to my Facebook page and watch these as recordings. Uh, you might resonate with one of the 10 Da's, for example. Uh, the greatest harmony was very popular. A lot of people really needed that wisdom. Greatest gratitude. I know for me, I don't have the amount of gratitude I would like to have. And so each of these have, uh, we all have a weakness and a strength. Some of you may have an excellent open heart of love uh, and forgiveness, but maybe not enough of one of the others. So you can go back and watch them on the timeline. So I want to pause and welcome everybody for joining us today. Welcome M.A. Drade. Welcome uh, Monica. Aloha. Becky Lefab. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Everybody keep an eye on Kristen's posts. She is an unconditional universal servant. She's always here to help me. Uh, and she usually posts uh, very important things like how to learn more about the things I'm talking about. Welcome also Vanessa. Uh, welcome uh, Carol Federico. Aloha Ferdi. And welcome also to Ben Garzul. <clears throat> welcome Tradizel. Aloha Catherine. And welcome Angela. Good to see you here uh, early enough, Angela. So you've been missing me sometimes coming in late. And welcome also to Lisa Carter. 
Aloha, Kathy Arnold. Welcome, Linda Smith. And welcome also to uh, Sasha. So if I missed anybody, forgive me. Thank you all for hitting the share button and letting other people know about this. Thank you for all your love. So today is also a special day for me. Um, it is the day of my birth. I'm not going to tell you how many years old I am. But um, I don't usually announce that. But uh, there's a reason behind that. But for some reason, it's okay to announce it to this year. <clears throat> and so, um, but it's just another day. In other words, I didn't, you know, do I take the day off? No, I, I, I serve. I just, that's what I'm here. That's what I came in to do. I came in to be the light that I came from. Guess what your job is? It's the same. And so what I share is from the greatest light that I've come across on Mother Earth, which is Master Shah's light. And he has put this wisdom into many different forms. And I am sharing that with you so you can then be the light for others. Because in Perfectly Frank, people do not move forward based on what they hear. They move forward based on what they see, what they observe, and what they know to be true at the level of soul. So I can talk all I want, but if the words don't reach into your soul, probably not going to make any changes. So that's why I followed this teacher, Master Shah, because his words reached into my soul. And it's brought massive change into my world. So allow me to serve you. <clears throat> so today, we're going to be focusing on uh, Da Fu Wu, the greatest service. Let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, while Facebook goes out and gathers a few more people. We're going to place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Bring our right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Let us close our eyes and fully connect. I will invite in the beings of light and I will uh, ask alignment. There are beloved spiritual creator. There are all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source. There are all of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. There are all angels, healing angels and archangels. Our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary. Beloved Namo Amitofu, Buddha. Beloved Kuan Yin. Dash Jirpusa, Medicine Buddha, Happy Buddha. All masters, ascendant masters, Lama, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, beloved Muhammad, and all others, mentioned and unmentioned. The soul of the light side, planet, stars, galaxies, and universes, and more. All souls serving the light side. We love you, we honor you, respect you. I bow my head to each of you. We ask your presence at this time in the highest and best and most appropriate way to please come to sit in each of our heart centers. Bless us each and every one to more fully awaken and develop our alignment to our soul and our soul journey, our intention for being here. Please bless each and every one of us to clear blockages to the 10 Da's, including ego, lack of harmony, lack of alignment, lack of gratitude, and lack of service. I ask blessings to bless each and every one of us to more align to selfless service and to move away from selfishness, to help to change our uh, thinking, especially any uh, negative thinking, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, and attachments that might inhibit us from being a better servant to humanity. We ask the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes to please turn off, to please come at this time. And as we chant love, peace, and harmony, we ask that this source, soul song radiate its greatest love to all souls in all universes and to be with us at this time. And we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us. So let us <clears throat> offer this service unconditionally. For any new souls, uh, Kristen Rojas has posted the links in her timeline, how you can sing along with us and download the song complimentary. And then uh, this is also a blessing. So make a request. Everybody else, let us offer the service. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, 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 Li. Lula, Lula. La li lu la lu la li lu la 
Lula, Ali, Lula. Why was in her ling? Why run, run, day? Wrong, ling, wrong. Her musher song. Song I pen on a sing. Song I pen on a sing. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Turn up the light a little bit, see if that makes a difference. Okay. <clears throat> so thank you all for coming. Dafu Wu, the greatest forgiveness. Excuse me, the greatest service. Uh, I want to first start by doing a flow and ask the soul of Da Fu Wu to give us greater wisdom and understanding on what this means. <clears throat> so I encourage each and every one of you to close your eyes and receive these words of wisdom inside your heart. <clears throat> so dear the soul of Da Fu Wu, the greatest forgiveness. Can you please come? Please borrow my mouth. Offer your guidance. Thank you. The greatest service is much like the Tao. There is no form, no shape, no beginning, and no end. There is no categorization. The human mind thinks that the greatest service falls in the realm of physical action or good thoughts, good actions, good chanting, etc. But in fact, it is boundless, limitless. Just the action of smiling is excellent service the action of driving in your vehicle and humming a song and enjoying the view the sunshine the clouds the birds the playing children is da fu wu the greatest service The act of being the one who is the deliverer of an unpleasant experience to another also falls in the category of a great service. For it is possible that without that delivery, that person would not recognize the karma that brought it to them. 
And with that delivery of that unpleasant action, that person may wake up. Therefore, it was a good service. You must not square your head. There is no form, no shape, no beginning and no end to service. It is the enlightened ones who do not judge or criticize. It is the enlightened ones who see everything through both sides of the mirror. It is the enlightened ones who do not see bad as good, who do not see good as bad. They are the ones that recognize the Tao in all things. They are the ones who do not react, who do not respond. They are the ones who do not create additional karma by involuntary angst and reaction. They instead become the observer, the dweller on the threshold. They become the one who watches the one. They become the unconditional universal servant by not creating additional karma. So simply sitting in meditation is da fu wu. Simply observing whatever is observed with a lack of judgment, with simply observation, is da fu wu. How is it that these things can be of greatest service? The answer lies in the not creating of karma because the not creating of karma impacts all life the person who offers an unpleasant experience that creates for the other an opportunity to see the karmic cause therefore the source of their unpleasant experience therefore the waking up also reverses the karmic wheel. We are all one from one. The Tao is born to heaven and mother earth. From two, all things are created. All things is everything. From everything, the return to heaven and mother earth, and then the return to Tao. The circle is complete, never beginning, never ending. To move through life with a smile on your face and a round, not barbed tongue. Thoughts of no judgment is of the highest and greatest service that one can offer why do you think the great sages offer you the four monkeys see no evil speak no evil hear no evil think no evil they are giving you the precursors to what creates imbalance the greatest service is for more and more souls to become awakened, aware, and not create additional spiritual debt. But there is yin and yang as has been trying to be pointed out in this sharing. The opportunities to make others happier and healthier are endless and everywhere. 
So remember this, quiet your mind. Watch, be with, observe, act, work, and do every part of your life from a place of simplicity. And you will be part of the solution, of the return of all things in creation back to the Tao. You will be part of Da Fu Wu, the greatest service. It has been my honor to offer this wisdom at this time. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, the soul of Da Fu Wu for that great sharing. I'm always taken back by um, the depth of the wisdom. Think I, I things that I never would have thought of, things that I definitely never would have considered. Uh, just amazing, the wisdom that can come through these flows. Just amazing. So thank you. I bow my head to the soul of Dafu Wu, the greatest service. The ten Da's are in an order. The order wasn't made up. It wasn't shuffled. The order was received. Master Shah is a divine servant vehicle and channel. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It means you're employed by God. It means you are you do God's work. He left a literally a million dollar business serving 70 to 100 acupuncture clients a day. If you know anything about acupuncture, they maybe do 10 clients a day, not 70 to 100. But he was so good because his spiritual channels are wide open. He would do one needle, that person's slip disc was fixed and the needle didn't go in the back. You know, slip disc is like, you know, people are out for a month. He would put it, he would see the blockage in the back of the knee. He has this three inch long needle, put one back in there, so get off the table, the person walks away fine. He was world renowned. And he was very spiritual being, he was very connected to source. God, creator, whatever name you want. And source said, I need you to bring a new form of healing to humanity called soul healing. This was 20 years ago. He asked Master Shah to quit his million dollar source of income, move away from his family and start teaching soul healing at that time he was not elevated to be a divine vehicle servant and channel he was just a very well-known qigong master the elevation gave him the power <clears throat> to do miracle healings which he has done for the last 20 years and he's transmitted those powers on to souls like myself and many other people who have divine healing hands Tao hands many other things learn more if you don't know what i'm talking about and when I say received the 10 Da's, all 20 of his books were flowed, received. I just flowed a message from the soul of Da Fu Wu. Da Fu Wu is an intangible object. It's an intangible statement. It means the greatest service. How can something intangible give such a profound message? Everything has a soul. Everything is created by a creator. So when the greatest service was created da fu wu when master shah received these 10 das from heaven and brought to earth in the physical form of words a soul was created that soul carries the highest wisdom of highest creation i was completely clueless of everything that came out of my mouth that is the nature of our creator it brings great beings to humanity to serve humanity the ten da are here to change our life, to make our life easier, better, and to remove our blockages. We, nothing is asked. Nothing is asked. This is unconditional service of our beloved creator gives this love to us and says, please practice more love, more forgiveness. Please practice more light and compassion. Please remove your ego. Please be harmonious in your thoughts, words, and actions. 
That's the first six das. Please be uh, grateful. Flourish your life. Don't keep others from flourishing. Don't be greedy, right? And then today, the greatest service. All of these build on each other to reach tomorrow, the final of the ten das, the greatest enlightenment. So how do we build our Da Fu Wu? How do we build our greatest service? Well, fortunately, we have like the wisdom that just came through. Fortunately, we have a lot more available to us to awaken our hearts to this greatest service. Let's see if anybody else came in. Welcome, Diana Victoria. Welcome, um, Heather Houston. Aloha. Welcome, Isabel Rice and Paul Quackenbush. Welcome, Ilona. Uh, welcome also to Jessica Christine. And see if I missed anybody. Welcome, Sha uh, Welcome Richard Shooping. Welcome, Tina Bakala. And welcome, Eric Rimmer and Larissa Wood. And welcome, Ali Fest. Thank you all for sharing, letting other people know about this wisdom today. <clears throat> so, how do we increase our Da Fu Wu, our greatest service. Well, if you listen carefully to the flow, and I do recommend you go back and listen again, I will, because uh, there is just such deep wisdom in there. Um, if I can remember correctly, the message was, we actually don't have to do anything. It's literally about controlling ourselves from where we are. Just controlling ourselves from where we are, we are being of the greatest service. It is when we're not in control that we lose and go away from greatest service and actually cause problems for humanity, cause problems for the collective whole. Some of you might not have caught some of the deeper wisdom there because you're not familiar with, with some of the deeper wisdom. But what was spoken of was from one becomes two, from two becomes three. What does that mean? And then he said from three to two to one. From one is the Tao, original creation. The Tao is not a word that is meant to, to square your head. It's a word that represents original creation, okay? Original creation was nothingness that, that had the greatest comprehension of everything, but it was a nothingness and it was everything. And from there birthed heaven and mother earth, yin and yang. And from the yin and yang birthed everything, the stars, the planets, galaxies, the universes, the, the birds, the trees, the rivers, you, me, everything was birthed. That is three. From one, heaven and earth was born, two. From two, everything was created, three. So at the top of the circle is the Tao. At the bottom of the circle is everything. This is not me teaching. This is Master Shah's wisdom. Master Shah puts his head on the ground and says, thank you, Creator, for giving me this wisdom, because he had no clue either until he was taught. And this is through all his books. Read more. So here we are in creation, and every thought expands the creative ball. Think about it. Science will never find the end of space. Science will also never find the smallest quark. Why? Because Tao is bigger than biggest, smaller than smallest. Tao, original creation, there is no beginning, no end. There is no, uh, no square, no round. And so original creator either just expands un uh, uh, forever and ever, or contracts and returns upon itself. Well, we know that both occur. Creator expands and returns. Because there is more than this planet, there is more than this life. Always life is expanding and returning back to Creator. And so humanity is at the, the precipice, which means the peak, of a very pivotal time. If you look at documented history, you see that humanity has went through many, many changes where great uh, disasters have occurred. We are at that precipice. If you don't know that, you should probably wake up, get out from underneath that rock and start looking around. We're at a very difficult time where there is huge amounts of light trying to win the battle where there is also huge amounts of dark. But what is that dark? They're all souls. All the light and all the dark are within this one creation. 
It is not without the creation. They're all within the Tao. They're all within Source Creator. All the light, all the darkness is still all under the same umbrella, still all within the same creation. So how then do we return to the Source? We become part of the solution, not part of the problem. Da Fu Wu is the greatest service. And the wisdom that came through the flow was to be one that does not create more problem. And be one that operates in love, forgiveness, compassion, and light in your thoughts, in your words, and in your actions. Be one that is in a place of gratitude consistently. Remember what Da Fu Wu said, the soul of Da Fu Wu said, when you're driving in your car, just smiling, looking around, taking in the birds and the sunshine, you are being of greatest service at that moment. Isn't that cool? That's just, that was the coolest thing. I was like, wow, what wisdom. What, because we're not creating more problem. We are being part of the solution just by not being part of the problem. When you offer forgiveness, you are being part of the solution, not just for your life, for the whole, because we are all part of the whole. The 10 Da's were not brought to humanity for you. They were brought to humanity for all life because we here on earth are part of a much bigger whole. And just like a cancer cell that can spread and create a problem for the entire body and eventually kill off the entire body, darkness can do the same thing. So the 10 Da's were brought to help humanity to remember that we are affecting a whole body. We are affecting an entire creation. All of the ten das, the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, are the top most important two of the das. They're the most important. Because if everybody operated in the greatest love, and if everybody forgave everything and just didn't even bother them, we would not be in the world we're in, period. Very simple. But we are, therefore, everybody is not operating in that way. The ten das were brought to humanity so that we can all operate in this much higher consciousness. And it wasn't brought to us in an intangible, hard to comprehend form in which uh, you had to decipher the words. Go out, O grasshopper, and understand why the leaf falls off the tree. Now, that's stuff from 2,000 years ago. Master Shah brought to us be the greatest love in your thoughts, words, and actions. Be the greatest light. And then Da Fu Wu comes and says, just don't be something that creates a problem for everything. And if you do something that is unpleasant, don't guilt yourself. Forgive yourself. Practice the second of the ten Da's. Forgive yourself. Ask forgiveness from the other for your action. And recognize that maybe this action was because this soul did it to me. That doesn't justify you doing it. You always ask forgiveness. But maybe they need an opportunity to also ask forgiveness. Maybe they need to recognize something's going on here. And we can all learn and unwind the collective uh, imbalance in the yin-yang world. What is the imbalance in the yin-yang world? Remember, creation created everything, the yin and the yang, heaven and mother earth. From the yin and yang, heaven and mother earth, all things were created. And in our soul's many, many lives of experience, which we've had many, somewhere between 200 and 1,000 lifetimes for the average human being of experience, we have made choices that are out of alignment, out of balance. We have made choices that have brought us unpleasant experiences in this life, a lot of them. So if you find yourself in place where you're not enjoying your experiences. Move to Da Fu Wu. Move to greater service. Move to activate the 10 Da's in your life. This extraordinary wisdom was brought to us so that we could knee-jerk ourselves out of the uh, um, cog of the wheel of life that we find ourselves stuck in so that we have a actionable set of wisdom that isn't life 
watch the leaf fall from the trio grasshopper stuff. No, it's real, conscious, easy to understand, actionable things that we can put into place each moment of our life, and we can be part of the solution. This is Da Fu Wu. This is the greatest service in action. Now, Master Shah has a mantra to go with the other ten das. Jir da fu wu, shir wei gong pu, wu shir feng xian, shang cheng fa man. And this ninth of the ten das, that's Mandarin Chinese, translates to the ninth of the ten da qualities is the greatest service. Vow, vow to be a selfless servant of humanity, heaven, and Mother Earth. Vow. Selflessly offer from your heart. Donate and devote to help and make not just humanity, to make humanity, heaven, and Mother Earth happier and healthier. So do something with what your blessings are. Show your gratitude. But as Da Fu Wu said, even just being present is a huge service. The fourth line, the highest sacred gate of Tao Source is selfless service. How many gates are there to the Tao? 84,000 ways to enlightenment is a, is a statement from the traditional Buddhist scriptures. What does that mean? That means you can enter enlightenment in 84,000 different ways. There is no, there's only one way to make it to enlightenment. There's only one way to reach the source, creator. No, 84,000, lots of different ways. But the highest gate is through selfless service. Why is that such an important and relevant statement? Because if you become enlightened through a different gate, through one that doesn't comprehend this great wisdom, then you are at a layer of heaven that is not at the top. You did not complete your journey. You will come back. You will go through another layer. Kuan Yin is a well-known bodhisattva, has to come back, has come back many times, and has been an enlightened Buddha over 78 times. That's why there is a mantra dedicated to the 78 reincarnations of Kuan Yin Buddha. I'm not asking you to believe that. It's just, you know, uh, documented. And so, if a Buddha, an enlightened being, has to come back, then what is the highest gate? That's why this is the Da number nine. Because the others lead to the highest gate. Activation of the greatest love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. Removing of ego, removing of these uh, blockages, being grateful. All of these contribute to being the greatest service we can be. So let us chant this together. Kristen will post the words for you. Thank you, Kristen. Okay. So this is the uh, ninth of the ten das. And we're going to chant in Mandarin Chinese. Jir da fu wu, shir wei gong pu, wu shir gong pu, excuse me, wu shir feng xian, sheng cheng fa men. I'm still memorizing. Jir da fu wu, shir wei gong pu, wu Again, Again. Again. 
जुड़ा फू शुरे गांग फू वो फंक्शन चंग चंग पाम जुड़ा फू शुरे गांग फू वो फंक्शन Shang Chang Fa Man, the ninth of the ten da qualities, to vow to be selfless servant to humanity, heaven and Mother Earth, Sur- uh, selflessly offer, donate, and devote to help humanity, heaven and Mother Earth, to be happier and healthier. The highest gate to the Tao Source is selfless service. What a beautiful mantra! And so we have all of these ten da mantra in order. I'm reading your comments. Give me a second. Welcome, Elizabeth. Welcome, Phyllis. Okay. <clears throat> I know. That many of you did not come to chant Mandarin Chinese, but why do we do it? Why are you still here? Why do you keep coming back? Yes, there's wisdom to be gained, but my suggestion is to chant the Mandarin Chinese. Why? Master Sha has brought to us a mantra with four lines per、uh, quality per ten dot quality. And altogether, there's probably about you know sixty or seventy lines, maybe fifty lines. I don't know, probably about fifty lines of Mandarin Chinese. Not easy. Why should you learn it? What value will you get? One of the things that Master Shah teaches is what you chant is what you become. Another thing that I know from having worked with it is that. He has many different ways to help us to clear our blockages. So some of us don't like chanting. We have a, a a brain blockage with it. Okay, get the calligraphy card, the Da Fu Wu calligraphy card. Why? Because everything has power in it. If it, if if it's associated with Master Sha, it has power in it. This is the Da Fu Wu calligraphy card. And so instead of chanting, because maybe you have a mind blockage around that. You trace the Da Fu Wu calligraphy card. What's the bigger point here? Okay, pay attention to the bigger point. The bigger point is we are stuck in this world of unpleasantness because we have karma, because we need to grow our ten das and release the blockages that inhibit us from being far higher on this wheel and far closer to our source creator. Master Sha is an unconditional universal servant who has come to humanity to serve unconditionally, and not only did he bring chanting, he brought calligraphy. Not only did he bring calligraphy, he brought the love, peace, harmony, rainbow light bulb. Not only did he bring that, he brought books that he puts power in, and I can go on and on about all the things he's brought that individually and collectively, when acted upon, clear bucket loads. Bucket loads, bucket loads of our spiritual karma that create our unpleasantness. I don't know about you, but I would like some help. This help comes in these forms. When you chant in the Mandarin Chinese language, what in essence are you doing? You are literally reaching into your soul and digging out bucket loads of crud and shoveling it over your shoulders. And light is coming in to your Akashic Record book, and it is filling the spaces that there was. Crud, and it is making your life happier and healthier. It is making you more loving, more compassionate, more light-filled, less ego, more grateful. It is filling in your every day the ten das. This is why it is suggested to chant these mantras, not because he wants you to learn Mandarin Chinese, because they carry source frequency, just like the cards and just like everything else that Master Shah has brought to humanity. These carry source frequencies. 
They are here to serve us because our human frequency is insufficient to the task. We get bogged down by that next irritation. We get bogged down by that coworker who's a jerk. We get bogged down by that relationship that takes us away from our heart. We get bogged down by that financial condition. We get bogged down because we're stuck in the human drama of the third dimension. Therefore, higher dimensional frequencies such as this in the mantra have been brought to humanity to assist. What do you have to do? You got to chant. You got to do your part. He, he brought the tools. You got to do your part. It's truly that simple. So you can come here and watch once a day, four days a week, and say, okay, I got my fix, I'm good, and go out and do the same old thing. Or you can apply what is being taught. Because just coming here and getting your fix and then going back and doing the same old thing is honestly no different than someone going to church on Sunday and saying, please forgive me, Father, for I have sinned, and then goes back and does the same old stuff. You think the creator's going to not record that? You think it's the record in the Kashuk record book, they come in there, and you do it, and then you come in and say, forgive me, Father, so they erase it, and you go do it again, and you come back Sunday, and they erase it? No, the Akashic Record book doesn't work that way. You have to apply love, forgiveness, compassion, light. You have to uh, be more grateful, release ego, be of greater service through the ways discussed today. Then your Akashic Record books gets much more light, and the eraser keeps working, okay? These are common sense things. Humanity has been fooling themselves for far too long. So the 10 Da's had been brought to humanity to service in an extraordinary way. We simply need to implement it in our life on a daily basis and walk the talk. I am making a vow to myself every day. I am learning more and more to walk the talk. Okay? So this is the wisdom. Now let us chant, I will serve you in this uh, greatest service card, this calligraphy card. I have uh, great power has been transmitted in here through Master Shah. I will not tell you the level, but I can tell you you're very blessed that I will trace this on your behalf. And you can chant the mantra along with me, okay? So the mantra is up on your screen. Uh, chant with your heart. I know you're trying to memorize the words, but chant with your heart. And let us do a forgiveness practice first to help clear the blockages, okay? So repeat after me. Close your eyes. Dear my beloved divine creator, the Tao and the source, they're all of the beings of light who have come to offer their unconditional service here today. I love you, love you, love you. I thank you, thank you, thank you. And I sincerely appreciate the incredible blessings that you have offered to me unconditionally. I cannot bow down enough. Dear all souls of humanity, all of those in my family lineage, all of my ancestors, dear all souls, if I have offered a lack of these ten das, a lack of love, a lack of forgiveness, a lack of compassion, a lack of light, if I have brought unpleasant ego, if I have had a lack of gratitude, if I have ever brought a conditions in which I created disharmony, if I have done any of these things, including a lack of service, I sincerely apologize. Please forgive me so that I can release these blockages and be aligned to my beloved source creator, therefore being a better servant and no longer part of the problem. Thank you for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. Dear the soul, continue to repeat, dear the soul of the mantra, Da Fu Wu, as I chant your mantra, could you please clear my blockages to being a better servant? I am grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I will say, dear the soul of my uh, da Fu Wu calligraphy card and all the power transmitted to this card the countless layers of divine Tao source and blessings within could you please subdivide your soul go to everybody watching now and in the future everybody listening on the podcast offer them a blessing as appropriate for this request 
blessing began. Let us chant together. Jirda Fu Shir Wei Gong Fu Wu Shir Fang Shen Shang Chang Ba Man Jirda Fu Joda, excuse me. Joda Fu Shir Wei Gong Fu Wu Su Fang Shen Shang Chang Fa Man Joda Fu Shir Wei Gong Pu Wu Su Fang Shen Shang Chang Fa Man Joda Fu Shir Wei Gong Pu Wu Su Fang Shen Shang Chang Fa Man Joda Fu Shir Wei Gong Pu Wu Shi Fang Shen Shang Cheng Fa Man Zhou Da Fu Shi Wei Gang Pu Wu Si Fang Shen Shang Cheng Fa Man Zhou Da Fu Shir Wei Gong Pu Wu Sir Fang Shen Shang Cheng Fa Man One more time Zhou Da Fu Shir Wei Gong Pu Wu Si Fang Shen Shang Cheng Fa Man. And now I will serve you by chanting all ten das. Continue to keep your eyes closed. Receive the blessings, all the blessings as appropriate. Please continue. Yi Shi Dai Wu Tiao Jian Ai Rong Hua Zai Nan Xin Jing Shen Ni Er Da Quan Xiu Wu Yuan Liang Ni Ni Yuan Liang Wu Xiang Ai Ping An He Xie Sanda Tse Bei Yuan Li Zhen Chang Fu Wu Zhong Sheng Gong De Wu Liang Tse Da Guang Ming Wu Zai Dao Guang Zhong Dao Guang Zai Wu Zhong Tong Ti Tau Ming Wu Da Qian Bei Ro Ro Bu Chang Qi Shu Jing Jin Shi Qian Bei Jie Wan Zhang Lu Da He She San Ren Tong Shin Chi Li Duan Jin Chang Gong Mi Jo Chi Da Chang Shang Dao Tzu Ying Fu Xing Shan Ji De 
道也长生，八大感恩，道生大德养，在培智慧，道恩永存。做大富，实为刚朴；无私奉献，向正法门，十大万满，灵身老生万满，人地天道现正体。夫婿连开背，开可盘。好，好，好。Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us bow our head nine times to our beloved Creator, Divine Tao Source. I bow my head to Master Shah and to Master Shah's original soul. To all of the ten da qualities and all the beings of light who have come to offer their service here today, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. We're extremely grateful for your unconditional service and all the wisdom and the blessings that you bring. And everyone, I see your comments. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to serve you. Thank you so much for coming and joining. Thank you for sharing. If you're new and you enjoy this, please like, please subscribe. You'll know when I go live every Monday through Thursday. And、uh, tomorrow we will focus on the tenth of the ten da's, the greatest enlightenment, the capstone on top of the pyramid, so to speak.、Uh, and it should be quite enlightening. So I invite you to return, and I will see you tomorrow. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the beings of light respect you to return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. We'll see you manana.